Today we're fixing a 01 to 03 Mach 466 to CD player. You're going to start by removing the ball. I thought the CD player was jammed. It is jammed. You didn't say that. You're going to pop the bezel for the shifter off. You got to take this plug out for your cigarette lighter. Start popping the radio and AC bezel out from the bottom. From the bottom to the top. Be gentle, you don't want to crack it. She comes out like so. Yeah, pop the clips on the Defroster, trash control, and fog lights. Be gentle with it. Alright. Now you gotta take the 8 mils out. There's two of them. Maybe they're sevens. They're seven millimeters. Yep. Put that in your cup holder. And this will just slide right out. You have th three plugs and an antenna back here. Got a clip on the side on the first one, clip on the bottom on the middle one, and a clip on the bottom on the last one as well. Thank you, Tyler. The last one's a, always a... Yeah, it's kind of a snug fit in there, I guess. She doesn't want to come out at all. Maybe let's push her back in and try to pull her out. There she came. And now you're going to need the special tools to get these out. Not special, but like hex. So we're going to go into the garage to get those tools and we'll continue this video in there. Alright, uh, we're going to start off with a T10. And then the next size up. Ours is all rusted so I can't really tell what it is. Oh, it's magnetic. You need a clear workbench to do this, but to do it good if you're completely taking the CD player apart. I'm pretty sure the way this one jammed, it's not in there that bad, and I don't think I'll have to actually take the CD player out, but we'll show you how to do that anyway. This one, I, you're usually able to use the credit card trick with the jam that this one did, but when I went to stick the credit cards in there, I was kind of in a hurry. So I went to stick the three credit cards in there, and it pushed the CD in further, so I couldn't get her out with those. You got two, on, two little T screws on the top and two on the bottom. And then you got two on each side of the CD player if you want to take the CD player out. They are located this is just here and here in the same spot on the other side. And then here, here, and here. Just take the faceplate off. So we're going to hope we don't only have to do this. Cause I hate taking the CD players apart. They have a bunch of small springs and they're really time consuming and tedious to put back together once you take the CD player completely apart. I don't suggest doing that. I'd so just using that one for parts and buying one off of Craigslist or eBay. And you got little tabs in here. You can use this to get them in. Let's see. Uh, they're kind of hard to get out. Oh, there goes the bottom too. Let's get the top ones. You just want to be really careful of these face plates. I've seen a lot that have been ordered off Craigslist. Or not off Craigslist, off eBay, and they'll be cracked when they get there, so they're very delicate. You got this little plug here, and there's the faceplate. Let's see what we got in here. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to take that CD player actually out. Fun. All right, let's get it out. 
swap to this one size up. And we'll take these two bolts out. These two screws, not bolts. I'm going to be swapping to my newer one. I'm just going to fix this one so I have a backup for anyone who needs it. So everyone's is always breaking and they're bringing it to us to fix. And I don't charge. So I'll just start fixing them and swapping them out. I'll charge them a core. They give me theirs and I'll put this in the new ones. This comes out. This cord comes with it. And then you got a ribbon cable. It's a zero, it's a ZIF cable. Zero insertion force. See, here's one CD. Let's see how this other CD got stuck in there. I didn't see him, so I could ate it. Here's one, we'll have to get that one out. See how this is all jammed? That's our problem. It's all jammed out. You got a hook on this little lip. There she is. That might be our problem. I'm going to go ahead and take the CD out just in case that's not it. A credit card trip. Let's show you that real quick. Let's find some other jet pull apart card that's handy. Let's get another card with no numbers on it. Here we go, public library card. Alright. This will be on here like so. You're gonna need three cards. And the little flapper, the disc flapper will be stuck down, the CD will be about right here, half in and half out. And you're going to take one cre or two credit cards, stick them in up top, and then you're going to slide and kind of shimmy the other one in. And as you pull, it's going to force these together and it's going to grip the CD. I haven't had it scratch one, I've taken about 15 to 20 out of this CD player and just slowly pull them out. And the CD should come out as long as you don't just jam two in there and aren't careful. That's why I'm having this problem All right now. Well, let's put it back. So let's see if it works this time. When I hooked it up, it initialized and everything. So it should work now. You can hear in there working. And she's gonna try to work. If she does or not, that's a mystery. I think what it's basically doing is counting the CDs. Because before it thought I had six CDs in there when I only had one. And there she goes, I got her working. Let's see if she'll load a CD. Load it in disc two. This one I had trouble in last time. Let's see if she'll take it in. Maybe it'll jam so I can show you how to use a credit card trick in actual. She took it in that time. Let's see if the Grand Theft Auto soundtrack will work. She goes, she sounds like she's working.